What's up? It's your girl Miss E and this is my entry for the Product Junkie Contest. Um, my Product Junkie-ism started um, about um, two years and a half ago before I finished transitioning. I started buying products and my first set of products was Jane Carter Solution and then it blossomed from there. Don't know how that happened. But um, my total products is about 86 products. Um, I, there's a few that aren't pictured. I don't have any more of my, like I used to use the Suave Naturals conditioners. I used those out and I didn't rebuy. And I used those for my co-washes when I was a TWA. And I also used the Nubian Kinks, two of their products. And so that's included with this lot. But um, this is my product collection that I currently have on hand. take me more than 10 minutes to even list them all so I'll just try to highlight um, first I have the ABBA collection and in the ABBA collection I got about one two three four five five about I got about five of their products so I'm gonna try to have this turned around and show y'all what I'm talking about as I'm pointing to them it's kind of hard to do it like holding the laptop the Abba Collection, there's about five products in the Abba Collection that I have, including the conditioner, the shampoo, this is the clarifier, and this is the pomade, and this is a set gel spray. Um, products that I have that are just the whole all-natural product is apple cider vinegar, coconut oil, I just get my Luann's from Walmart for like five dollars. Um, um, oh, my vegetable glycerin for my vegetable glycerin mix. Um, jojoba oil. I also have, not shown here, peppermint oil and tea tree oil. And I have sweet almond oil. And then here is aloe vera. This is um, different extracts. And they're from the hair store, so they're not 100%. But aloe vera, cocoa butter. Um, this is carrot with um vitamin e oil shea butter oil olive oil and then from there we're gonna move on to um tali wajid and i have three of the tali wajid items pictured here right now but i did have the modifying spray too so that needs to be included in that lot that's the shampoo the conditioner and this is the healing oil i also um used the the balance dresses as I've shown you out many a times from Miss Jessie's that I purchased was the conditioner and the Miss Jessie's cleansing cream. Um this is my Carol's daughter collection down here. So from the Carol's daughter collection I had the black vanilla leave-in. I'm not crazy about it. I need to do a swap with somebody on this one. Um, tea, tweed hair oil and then the hair milk. I also have a hair mayonnaise and this is my Fido nectar that I use before my hot oil treatment. And this is some shea butter in this container. Um, I also have from the Jonathan collection, I have finishing hole spray and I have a shine, a shine serum. And for co-washes, I have Mario Bashu that I love so much. When I used to be on um, TWA, I like to use this Garnier Vertice Curl and Shine. And I also use to shampoo my hair when I was transitioning this Apathy that you see right here. Um, and as you can see, I have my kinky curly curling custard collection right here. I have the not today, and I have the kinky curly. I have the pomade underneath that. I have the spiraling spritz and the shampoo. So that's five items from that collection. Also, I have about 
two items from the curls from Sister Smith, the deep conditioning, and down here is the wet set pudding. I have four items from Royal Roots. As you can see from the back, I'll point to it. But this is the Royal Roots collection right here. The Royal Roots collection is the detangler, a softener, um, remover, herbal glaze gel, shampoo, and the twist ding gel. I have three items from African Pride. I have their braid sheen spray and I have their braid shampoo and I also had their deodorizer. And from Jane Carter Solution, we all know I have a very large collection of Jane Carter Solution. Um, revitalizing leave-in conditioner, the hair nourishing serum, the scalp renew, the twist and lock, the nourish and shine, the shampoo, condition and sculpt, wrap and roll, um, and the conditioner is back there. Um, my aloe vera gel, this is rusty dusty, I use when I braid a lot. This is the detangling spray from Yaki Professional. These are my two clarifiers, my daily clarifying from Suave and Neutrogena clarifier. Um, from the own body, I have this aloe hair gel, I have this deodorizer, and I had this hydrating hair milk. And when I have my extensions of human hair, I like to use this Chi Iron Guard um, remake. And so that's a quick, as quick as possible, a whole review without it getting ridiculously, ridiculously, ridiculously long. Um, so like I said, that's about 86 products. And I had in the middle of my sink too, I didn't show y'all, this is my curl keeper I used when I had a TWA. I had the main and tail conditioner that I used to use back in the day. Um, I also had a blended beauty sample pack. I wasn't crazy about it, so I didn't order anymore. Um, and then I have the Shea Moisture, one of my favorite Shea Moisture leave-in. And that's pretty much a good rough overview of everything that I have. Some things I do still use, some things I don't. I kind of have separated my hair into like different seasons. If I like to have it on more on an aloe base um, tip, I'll be using my ABBA and Kinky Curly together. And if I'm more in an oil based mood, I'll be using my Tali Wajid, the Royal Roots, and the Jane Carter together. And everything else is kind of jumbled up in between. But, um, uh, is. I just wanted to see, you know, what worked for my hair, and that's how I ended up finding out, you know, what works good. All these people that ask me questions on what will work for their hair, well, I don't really, can't really see your hair through the internet, and the best thing to do is to try out what you can. So, think about their different parameters as far as products, ingredients, and prices, and go from there. And I hope y'all enjoyed watching this, and I'm officially trying to break the habit of being a product junkie. Thank you for going on this journey. Peace.